Okay, so this is the wood I picked up. This is a uh, cedar. I went through this whole box and uh, found these pieces. Obviously, I already processed them. I'm gonna use this bed leg for the neck this time. This is actually what I used for the fretboard last time. So let's get these bad boys glued up. Entirely too much glue. Somewhere around there. Bracing. And here is the top and back cedar. This is all from this super weather rot rotten wood. You just gotta cut it down to where it's, you know, good wood again. And here is going to be the headstock. Don't do it this way. Okay, that's the work. We got the top and the bottom glued up. Got the neck, got the body. We're getting somewhere.
Okay, here's how I'm going to brace the back. I need to um, plane this side and the other side one more time. But that's how I'm going to brace the back. And then, of course, I'm going to taper off the ends. Well, time to start over. Well, this is looking good at least. I couldn't find any wood without knots in it, unfortunately. So this is gonna be for the back anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter, but. <sighs> okay, progress here.
Were you making a face? No. <laughs> yeah, you were. Not my boob. You're just a boob. Those are boobs. My wife drew me boobs. Boob, 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 beep, beep, boob. The, the boob is not my boob. This is cedar this time around. The other ones were pine. So this should be interesting to see how it carves. Just about as easy. By the way, for anyone watching this video, I let these braces dry for about two hours. I know it's forbidden to work on things if you don't wait at least 24 hours. But I am the chosen one. So in case you're wondering, you know, the reason why I'm patching this together is because I'm trying to use as much free wood as possible. I did buy a fretboard. Um, I bought it for, what is it? Um, I think five or six dollars. Okay, not a perfect cut, but that's why I cut an extra half inch, just in case. Not the best, but we can fix this. This is some hard ass wood. Nice little doorstop. Woo! That was a big one. It worked. Let's do a tap test before. Let's 
get the final thickness here. This is scary. This is a piece of uh, double A or single A ebony. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, it was really cheap. I got it for like seven bucks, something like that. Really dense wood. Ooh, it's like butter. Nice. I also got this thing so I can get some accurate measurements. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Very nice wood. And I gotta cut them deeper, but I'm gonna wait till I mount it to the the neck. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to call this done. I need to put the final sand on it, but uh, I don't want to work this too much. I hate the smell of this ebony wood. It smells like butter. I don't like it. You want some chocolate? Well, I'm an idiot, and I realized that I forgot to plane the uh, fretboard before I mounted it. So now I have to do it by hand, unfortunately, and it's going to make it less precise. Um, and I also pre-slotted everything so I could just use the saw and come back in and fret it real quick, and all that work is going to be undone, unfortunately. Um, well, here we go. Okay, I got a lot thinner, as you can see, from the ebony shavings. Fretboard is indeed thinner, and it's smooth and ready for fretting, but unfortunately, now that this piece of wood is not square, it's going to make it a lot harder to figure out where the frets need to go exactly. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, so what I've decided to do here is I'm going to try to take pieces of paper and then wrap it around and then try to line it up that way and then use this as my edge. Okay, so that's my first fret. And that... Okay, um, this will work. Okay, so I got it all marked out. So I'm gonna put this fret wire on here, and then I'm going to draw the depth on the side. Okay, yep, I can see it clearly now. I would have been so much further along if I had caught that the fretboard was much too thick, you know, I've never bought like raw fretboard material, right? I, I made mine last time, so I didn't even think about it. This is going to be such a slow process now. That should be it. That's the problem of not being organized. You need to find something, you can't find it. Okay, well let's just go for it and see what happens. That's what I like to do. I can't find the little file. That seemed to have been enough. Let's get a little bit of super glue. 
maybe a lot of it. Snuck a kiss. Done. It's actually not too bad, is it? <laughs> Woo. Oh, damn. Went way too far. Went way too deep right there. It's a bit of an experiment here. I made this a lot thinner than I wanted to originally. I kind of just started carving and then it got thinner and thinner. Hopefully we got enough wood to handle some string pressure. <sighs> okay, I got most of the glue off. The rest of it will come off in the finishing, the sanding. Let's continue on. Okay, this could end up being a huge mistake. Let's see if we can 
Kind of scared here. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, that worked out. Whew, this is a really tough cut here, and I, I was really struggling getting any kind of angle on this, so um, now I can just dig the rest out. Nice. It's good enough. So I was looking at um, some things, some materials I could use for fret markers on the end of the fretboard here, and I decided on a pin core. I found a white one. Uh, obviously, clear ones wouldn't work too good. And then I gave her a cut. Actually, I'll just get the blade so I can keep it flat. And there we go. Pretty attractive uh, fretboard marker there. That's the end result. I didn't measure right and I cut too much of this and then there wasn't enough support. This was supposed to notch in and go under the uh, soundboard here, but whatever. Anyway, it, it fits in there. We got a 23 fret guitar. <laughs> That's what we're going to work with. Okay, here we go. go let's uh clean this mess up oh, another one nice oh okay this one and I'm going down south park gonna have myself time He plays a banjo, I think. It got down to about a thousand grit on the everything. Sounds like there's a murder going on out there. Okay, not bad. Okay, I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. She's gluing up. Got the holes all drilled out for the tuners. Ready to go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks like uh, it stayed on the mark pretty much. It's a, it shifted a little bit forward, but not too much there. So, oh, I glued it on backwards. I'm just joking. We're going to take these tuners off again once we need to finish the guitar. You know, like do the final sand and also it's going to be a tongue oil finish again. I kind of like it because it darkens the wood a little bit, but it, it just leaves the color natural and I, I, like, I like that. You know, um, I do like stains and stuff too, but if it sounds like I'm drunk, I just woke up. <laughs> I don't drink. That was a scary wobble. I don't know. This being a completely hollowed out body does make this uh, this neck feel a little, little bit more um, front heavy, top heavy, head heavy. It's a plastic saddle. Not my favorite material, but it's what came with um, the bridge that I bought. And looking at the bridge, 
The bridge doesn't look all that complicated. I can definitely make a bridge on the next one. Ah, I gotta love those plastic curls. Make sure we're not going against the grain here. It's about as low as it, it should go. Let's find out if it's too low. <laughs> okay. I have noticed um, my shirt sometimes cover, covers up the sound port. I wish it was right here, but this is all solid. Um, I think for the next build, maybe I'll put it more in the middle. But um, if you position your body correctly, it's a little bit out of tune, but it's really out of tune. Test out a little bit of finger picking. Sounds good. I can play louder too, though. sounds pretty good. I'm going to finish it on my own time. But that's the guitar. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in a future build.